Welcome back, Psych2Goers. Every now and then, you feel like your relationship is not going as well as you'd hoped. Does it sometimes feel like they're not even trying or like you're the one doing all the work? This can be quite confusing and you may even wonder if it's really happening or if it's just your mind creating scenarios. So to help you be more aware of your relationships, here are six signs your relationship is one-sided. Number one, you're the one who does all the planning. Are you always the one who initiates conversations and plans activities? It's okay for your partner not to be creative and to prefer to simply hang out at home, but if they know how much you like doing things together outside and they still never bother to suggest anything, then maybe it means that they don't find it so important. This can be pretty frustrating, especially if you're trying hard to keep the relationship going, but it may also mean that your relationship has become one-sided. Number two, they find time for others, but not for you. Does it seem like they never have time for you? Perhaps you ask them out for lunch, but they're already busy with a colleague, or you invite them over to your place, but they're already hanging out with their friends. Sometimes people are just genuinely busy and can't be available all the time. And in every healthy relationship, both sides should have time to hang out with other people, especially family and friends. However, it doesn't mean that they should ignore their other half. If your partner has enough time to hang out with everyone else but you, then it's a clear sign that something's not quite right. According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video, you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Number three, you're missing the emotional support. Are they there for you when you need them the most? Your significant other should ideally be your best friend, a shoulder to cry on, a helping hand, they're the ones you run to when life gets you down to reassure you that everything will be okay. So if they're never there for you, especially when things are getting tough and hard to deal with, then it may be time to rethink your relationship with them. Number four, your comments are met with annoyance. When you're dating someone, naturally, sometimes you're gonna have some complaints. Whether it's simple things like, I don't like it when you're late to our dates, or something more intimate like, I wish we would snuggle more, it's a healthy thing to voice your opinions, to try and better your relationship. However, if everything you say annoys them or makes them feel like you're too much, then it may be their way of running away from their responsibilities and to avoid putting in any effort into the relationship. Number five, you make excuses for their behavior. Do you sugarcoat your experiences with your partner to other people? This is called a fantasy bond. It's an illusion of love and comfort which you may develop as a coping mechanism to protect you from the fear and anxiety of your relationship falling apart. Even when you feel these words are true, if something is really wrong, deep down you know that what you're actually doing is making excuses. And you shouldn't have to make excuses to feel cared for in a relationship. And number six, they say they'll try harder, but they never do. It happens a lot in relationships where one partner just won't bother to put in the effort. They just keep making promises and forget to keep them. The truth is you can't change anyone or expect them to change for you. But growing as a person with someone by your side is one of the things relationships are for. If someone is bothering you and you let them know and they say they'll fix it, but they don't, it's safe to say that you should keep your expectations low. So do you feel like you're in a one-sided relationship? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might